Welcome back onto our BMW desk, and we are so happy to have Stevie Johnson with us. Southern California, born and raised, ends his career here in the desert at Indian Wells. First, uh, just congratulations on an incredible career. All the accomplishments, four titles, got to be the number one ranked American in the world, greatest collegiate tennis player of all time, a, a Olympic medal as well. What, Stevie, went into your decision to retire and, and do it here at Indian Wells? Yeah, the, the decision to retire here was super easy. Um, I grew up coming here as a kid forever. Um, it has a very, this term has a, such a special place in my heart. You know, so many friends, family get to come out. So for me, this was always home and it's where I wanted to, you know, kind of end it and very lucky, you know, not everybody gets that opportunity um, to kind of do it on their terms. And I'm very happy that I got that, that chance. And yeah, for me, other than that, you know, the tennis started to feel more like a job and a chore than, you know, you know the enjoyment and the the fun that I had, and all the little things that went into it. You know, the rehab, the warm ups, the cool downs, the travel. That was just becoming really unenjoyable. Um, but the competing still is fun. You know, I love to go out there and compete with you know whoever it is. That will never get old. But all the other stuff that goes into it was starting to just become more of a, you know, not something I look forward to every day. And and then the travel on top of that with the kids was tough. That's what we know you for, Stevie, that ultimate, ultimate uh, competitor in you. Um, talking about your career, we can't help but go back to USC, where so much of that greatness was forged. I mean, the greatest, the greatest to ever do it, especially at that stage. How much of an impact did, did USC and, and Peter Smith have an impact on you as a man and as a player? Yeah, um, instrumental, really. You know, when I chose to go to USC, obviously at 17 when you commit, I thought it was the right choice. I believed it was the right choice. Um, and looking back now, very easy to say it was the best choice I could have made. But Peter in itself, you know, was the right person for me. He knew when to push, knew when to pull back. You know, he knew how to treat me as, you know, Stevie, the, the person, as well as the tennis player. And that was something that was very, very important to me. And I think, you know, with all my coaches for the last 15 years, you know, the three or four of them that I've had, that was a massive piece to all of our success and, you know, very thankful for that. That was a very special time that you, you gave USC with all your blood, sweat, and tears there. Um, on tour, you've had, you've had many highlights. You know, Steve talked about it with the four titles. You're, you're a medalist at the Olympics, which must have been very special. But I'll never forget, it was 2016, and, and you, know, you had the opportunity to play Roger Federer on center court at Wimbledon. I mean, I, I, you know, that, that's things that most people wouldn't even be able to keep it together to go play a match. I mean, was, was that one of the high points? Yeah, it was such a cool moment. I mean, it was July 4th, Wimbledon Center Court, you know, had my wife there, girlfriend at the time, dad, coach, you know, people that I could look up and be like, you know, these are my people, you know, what a special moment to share them with. But it's also incredibly hard to walk, you know, from the locker room at Wimbledon Pass, you know, Roger's title, first title, second title, you know, <laughs> cardigan, belt, you know, suede jacket. It's like title. You're like, okay, like focus on the match, focus on the match. And all of a sudden, like you're out on center court and it's just like this arena that you've seen on TV a million times. And I'm like, you know, a little, a little short of breath, perhaps, you know, walking out there. I'm like, you know, Roger's been out here, I don't know, 2,000 times and has won, you know, just about every one of them. So, um, but it was a fun, fun experience and, you know, something I'll never forget. Out of all those accomplishments that we've talked about, what are you most proud of? I think at the end of the day, I'm just most proud of the way I was a competitor. Um, never felt like I cheated the game of tennis. And, you know, I never felt like I left anything up to question. You know, if there was something in my power to do, I did it. Um, sometimes I made the right call on that, sometimes wrong, but I tried to rectify those mistakes. and. But that's what I'm most proud of. I think every single day I went out there and competed is from the first point to the last. And I think and I hope, you know, you know, when competitors were, you know, going over their game plan to play me, you know, their coach would have said, you know, from first ball to last ball, he's going to he's going to fight you for it. So that's what I'm most proud of. Well, Stevie, you've got a beautiful family at home waiting for you for this next stage of your career. But um, what, what, what is that going to look like for the next phase in life? Not sure, you know, for now I'm going to go home, maybe take some time off, uh, not go to the gym as much, you know, <laughs> maybe switch it up, do a lot more, you know, pickups, drop offs at school, nice. maybe some more play dates, you know, in our future. And um, it'll be nice to probably not get on a plane every week, you know, for a while and, and kind of do that because, you know, our three year old kind of knows now, like, 
oh, like when we drive by the airport, she's like, oh, are you going to work again? I'm like, you know, no, you know, not this time. We're just driving through the tunnel here under LAX, but um, just looking forward to being at home and kind of taking a step back, but very grateful for what tennis and, you know, the people that I've met along the way. Amazing. Watch some sunsets in Manhattan. Maybe. Yeah, that's, that never gets old. You, yeah, you know, you know it well, Steve. Come on, <laughs> that never gets old. Congratulations on an absolutely incredible career. It's been an honor to be able to be a part of that, cover it a, a little bit, cheer you on at a few matches <laughs> as well, and uh, we wish you all the best and everything going forward. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you guys so much.